friends, family, and other people. Uh, welcome back to our channel. You guys might already know that I'm Lauren and my husband and I travel full time. We live in our 22 foot Airstream and we work out of our Ford Transit van that we've converted into an office. Uh, we're just now four months on the road and this has been the most life changing, transforming experience for both of us uh, already just in four months and I really felt like I wanted to share some of the ways that this has changed us and some of the things that we've found most surprising and most unexpected about living this life of full-time travel. The first thing that both of us have found very surprising at the, is that this life of full-time travel is simultaneously much harder than we ever expected, but also much more rewarding than we ever expected. I think an easy way to put it is that the highs are higher and the lows are lower. <laughs> and, um, that's because in this life, compared to our old life, which was very routine and nine to five, there is so much more work involved just with the sheer logistics of getting from one place to the next um, day to day, you know, where we're going to stay. You have to Google map everything that you ever go to, um, even going to the grocery store and finding the foods that you like to eat can be difficult sometimes. Um, and so it's just more physically and mentally taxing than we ever thought. Um, even though you can watch a lot of YouTube videos and prepare as much as possible, like many other things in life, there's nothing like diving in and doing it. And Daniel and I are both very active people, but I don't think we realized the physical toll that the full-time travel would take on us. Um, I've actually had four different business trips in the last four months. So I've actually had travel within this travel and the long flights, the long car rides, the additional planning, that all does take a toll. And so it's helped us to really understand and realize our limitations and respect those a little bit more. And know when we need to take an extra day someplace in order to maintain our sanity and know when it's time to quit on a travel day because after all, we travel with our very own bed with us all the time. So um, so it's a lot harder than we thought. But then again, I mean, look at this. This is, you have to work a little bit harder to see all the amazing things that you've always wanted to see. And so for us, it's totally worth it. Um, when you're traveling full time, it's really kind of a groundless experience. You've stripped away every single like go-to comfort or coping mechanism that you used to have in your old life. And that can be really hard, but the beautiful thing about it is that it forces you to develop stronger internal tools, uh, to be more self-reliant, to learn better coping and communication mechanisms. And I would say that's the number one way that it's changed me. It's, it's made me a lot more resilient, a lot more uh, confident to stand with my decisions, and uh, that's been amazing. The second way that this trip has really changed us and has been most surprising to me is that it has created or given me a lot more humility. And that's to say it's made me realize that my place in the world is so small and so insignificant. So all these places that we visit and we go to, they're fully functionally, <laughs> all these places that we go to and visit, they're completely functioning and going on without us. We are but visitors for a very small time. And if you compare that to say like my old life where I was director of marketing for a company. I had my team that reported to me. I reported to the CEO. I went to work every day. And you, you know, when we are in these um, traditional lifestyles, we tend to create this little microverse that we are at the center of. And you know, after work, I go hang out with my friends and you know, go to my house. And um, all that's stripped away when you're traveling full time, and you start to realize that all of those constructs that were part of my old life were only temporary and some of them were just completely false. And you realize how small of a role we really play in this big world. And it's a beautiful and humbling realization to make. 
And I think it, it's necessary for our evolution and to just see the world a little more clearly. It also has caused me to realize how important my personal interactions, however brief, are with other people. You know, when I'm not playing this role of director of marketing or running my own business and I'm just out in the world greeting people and seeing people, we may only have a few moments to affect that person or to influence them in the slightest way and it's just shown me how important kindness is. Um, I know that seems a little bit abstract and maybe unrelated, but somehow in a big way it's, it's very related for me. And then lastly, the third thing that has really made an impression on me is I've realized how many people are out there who are seeking alternatives and living alternatives outside of the metropolitan 9 to 5 lifestyle. And when you get out of that yourself and you travel like us, you meet more and more of these like-minded people. And I guess there's just a lot more of this than I ever realized because I was so immersed in the traditional lifestyle before this. And what I found is that there's so many different ways to do it. You know, not everybody wants to cram their whole lives and all their stuff into a little uh, tiny RV like we have. You know, some people are taking advantage of last minute deals and Airbnb being their way around the world. Um, you know, other people are doing, you know, contract work for a few months at a time, different places. Other people are part of the tiny house movement and living off grid. And it's opened my eyes to the number of possibilities and just the capability that we all have to do that if we so choose. Now I realize it's not for everybody, but I think it is for a lot more people. And sometimes they just don't have the courage to pursue it. And I might do another video on the process of how we left and started full-time travel, but it really comes down to two things. You know, one is getting a handle on your expenses, downsizing, realizing what you don't need, and living with less. And then two is just setting up your remote income stream. And um, there's a lot of different ways to do that. You can do it at any skill level and any um, education level. And so um, I just want to communicate to other people that maybe you don't want to live in an RV like us. That's cool. That's one way to do it. But if you are dreaming of alternatives, if you do want to expand your horizons and see what this life has to offer, go for it. It is a matter of logistics. That's it. And each of us has the power to change our situation if we want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was definitely from the heart of the things that have been on my mind for the past couple months that I really wanted to share with people. So I hope it's at least thought provoking for you. And if it was, please do subscribe so you get our next, our new videos and give this video a thumbs up um, to spread the message to others about alternatives. Thanks and we will see you next time. Thanks again for watching guys. Please do subscribe and be sure to follow us on Instagram at Hey Babe Watch This so you can see our most up-to-date content.